Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to paint my nails. I have been asked, it's been requested, uh, both on Instagram and here on YouTube, that the next time I do a French manicure to, if I could share that. So I've in, been in a French manicure mood the last couple of weeks, even though my nails, I mean, I guess they're, they're getting there. They were quite long and then I had to cut them because I broke a couple. So yeah, they're getting quite long. This one broke about two weeks ago and I'm getting a little bit of length. My nails do grow fairly fast. So I haven't been putting any tip, like white tip on this one. I might be able to this week. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. We will see. So if you are new here, um, these are my natural nails and then I just paint them. Sometimes a solid color, sometimes a French manicure. French manicure is my favorite. So I did my nails about two weeks ago and you can see like I've cleaned my bathroom, I've done a lot of dishes and they're chipping. So it is time. Um, and especially because they're getting caught, like when the nail polish starts to chip, especially on the side, it'll get caught on my clothes and stuff. And it's, I don't like that feeling because that's typically how I break a nail. So anyways, I'm working, I work really hard at having my nails all one length. And when they are one length, I'd like to keep it that way as long as I can before I break another one. And when I break my nails, 90% of the time, it's always the middle finger or a thumb. 90%, not, probably 98% of the time, it's one of these two. Um, anyways, okay. So first things first, I'm going to remove my nail polish. I just used this. This is from Shoppers Drug Mart um, here in Canada. I don't do anything fancy. I don't use any kits and soak my nails and, and all that jazz. I've been doing my nails since I was a teenager. I'm almost, I'm 48 now. So this is like decades that I've been doing my nails. So I don't really have to do my cuticles anymore. Like they naturally stay down. This one here likes to creep up on me. I don't know why. All I do really is like with my nail, I just push it down and away we go. I moisturize my hands a lot through the day and always before bed. Um, so my cuticles stay um, like they're not dry. So yeah, there really is nothing to it because I've been doing my nails for so long. It's not, I don't find it really high maintenance. When I remove the nail polish, I do check, make sure there's no hang nails and um you know if any filing needs to be done as far as to reshape them i do like my nails to be more on the square side like a uh, square shape and i tap my nails a lot when i'm in the car let's say i'm not driving even when i am driving i'll tap them like on any kind of a surface if it's the door of the car if it's the middle console if i have my phone in my hand um, you know, I tap them on a table when I'm thinking, but I'm on my computer, like things like that. So I'm beginning to wonder if doing that takes the squareness away and kind of makes them more round. <laughs> I don't know if that's even a thing, but I find a lot of times after a couple of weeks of not filing, they do start to round on the edges. So I don't know if that's a real thing. I just kind of thought of that recently. Like, I wonder, I, I know I tap my nails a lot and it's, it's a lot of the times I'm not even aware of it. It'll be somebody in my family that will point it out to me when I'm doing it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I was doing it again. It's just what I'm thinking. Um, yeah, just a habit. Okay, I'm done. I always check the, um, like this side too, because when I do my nails, you'll see I do the tip and then sometimes nail polish will go on the inside. So I always check that too, make sure that all of it is removed from all sides. And it looks like it is. So this is what my nails look like with no nail polish. Um, I think I felt something on this side. So I just have various nail files. This one is not as rough. So this is more like for smoothing out the edges. This one is more rough. I have bigger ones 
and so I just kind of collect them once I don't really throw them out unless like they're totally done so I just have various sizes and I have a buffer as well I don't buff every time I paint my nails um, but sometimes I do so I'm just gonna grab this one here and I don't know if you can see that it's so small but there's a little bit of a bump there so I just want to smooth that out And then if there's something left over I can't get, I'll try and use my clippers. I'm trying to do this so that you can see. I just want to get rid of that little teeny tiny piece. It's very tedious. Without cutting my actual skin. I'll turn off my ringer, I always forget. Um, yeah, that's better. And even if it doesn't need it, sometimes I'll just do a once over. Just to make sure there's no jagged edges. Okay, so the edges are done. I think I'm okay. They're not, I mean, they're pretty square. I don't think I really need to trim them down just yet. I don't know if you can tell the pinky finger. Tiny bit rounded, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Nothing I can do about this one until they grow out they're gonna be a little round, especially, it depends on how far down they break, and this one broke pretty far down. So, just have to leave that as is. Okay, so filing is good. And this, my thumb and my pinky nail, I don't know if you can see this, there's like a line in the middle and it splits at the top of this nail and this one is kind of starting to do the same over here so it's just just a tiny bit rough when I rub my finger on it. I've asked the doctor about that. I've asked um, my naturopath about it because I've read that it can have to do with your thyroid levels or um, minerals or something like that. They didn't seem too concerned. I'm now seeing an endocrinologist. I think I'm gonna ask her. So how this buffer works, if you're not familiar, the there's one side that it's the file nail edge. This removes ridges. So this is the rougher one. I really only use this one on more of the rougher surfaces. So if you're not familiar with this, it's a four-way buffer. So you've got one side here that is rougher, and then this is a little smoother, and this helps to remove ridges. And then you have this one smooths and this one buffs. So I use the blue on the more rougher sides. I'll do it on the sides too if needed. Um, but I mainly use it on top just to get rid of any rough edges. Just really on those two nails is where where it needs it. And then I use the pink side just to, I don't know where, where, where to smooth it out a little bit. And then this side here will make it a little bit softer, smooths it out even more. And then this buffs it. it. Makes it all nice and shiny. And I think the other ones are fine. I'm just going to push my cuticles back a little bit. Like I said, you guys, like this is nothing fancy. 
I mean, do I have a cuticle thingy? I do. I got tools. I don't know. I just don't really use them. I find that um, I can do just as good of a job with my nails. <laughs> Maybe because with my nail, I can actually feel it with the skin of my other nail, right? So yeah, I like my cuticles to be pushed back. And like I said, I've been doing this for years. If you're new to this, be gentle. I see some people's fingers where their cuticles are up quite high, like don't go hog wild and just start pushing you got to be quite gentle and it might be worth it to go to a manicurist and get it professionally done for your first time or your first couple times before you kind of start taking things into your own hands i also have a friend when i was what 19 18 19 that she went to school to be an esthetician. So I got to go in as a volunteer a lot for her to practice all sorts of things. I learned a lot of nail tricks by being there and then listening to the, the teacher would come and inspect her work and give her feedback. And I was like, ooh, mental note of that. So I learned a lot that way too but I had already been doing my own nails for quite a few years before that. So now what I'm gonna do is wash my hands because I still have nail polish remover on my fingers. I'm gonna wash them really well and then dry them and then I will be back to paint them. Okay, I'm back, all clean, I'm gonna zoom in. Um, so I just have a mixture of things here. So I've got this Orly Bonder. It's a rubberized base coat and I you put this on first. It's kind of like a primer, helps everything stick. Once I have that on, then I use this one here. This is Sally Hansen. And I have sort of like a manicure kit. I don't always do that. This just happened to be in the store that I was at at the time when I needed um, nail polish for French manicure. Sometimes I'll just do like a solid white and I'll get a very sheer pink uh, and then just whatever I have for top coat. But this is like sort of a kit. So yeah, I do the tips. Or sorry, I do this first. I put a, a coat of this on, then I do the tips. Then I do another coat of this, and then I do the top coat. And so these are like the Miracle Gel. That's the Miracle Gel. I don't know, are these all? Yeah, Miracle Gel. And then this is just Complete Salon Manicure Sheer Translucent. It's not part of the kit. The, the one that came with this is more of a, a brown, and I like mine to be more pink. I know you guys are probably shocked by that. <laughs> So I don't know that I'm going to talk through all of this. I'm just going to sort of paint. And so when I grab my brush, I don't just start like putting it on my nail right away. I, um, let me see if I can show you. I kind of, um, oh gosh, can't word today. There's a lot of, there's a lot of polish on the brush. So I just rub the wand on the rim and then stop where the brush meets and just sort of move it around a little bit just to get the excess off so that I don't have excess that goes on my nail and I don't wanna make a mess. I don't wanna get it all over my cuticles or my skin or the table, right? So I just sort of do that if that makes any sense whatsoever. And I go right down to the cuticle. I like it to be nice and shiny. 
then I know that I have enough on. So if there's any like ridges in it, then I didn't have enough on the, on the brush. I may have to go really close because I usually have my nails, or my hand rather, on the, on the edge of the table. It's just easier for me. Okay, oops, so there we go. Nice and shiny. That's all I need of this, so I will put this away. And then once this dries, I put a, co a copy, oh my gosh, a coat of this on. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll be back. Okay, so let's dry now. If you hear, um, a bit of a noise in the background. I have my fan on because, you know, perimenopause and all, I'm always warm. Okay, so now I'm going to put, this is number 823 called My Sheer, Sally Hansen. And it is the Complete Salon Manicure Sheer Translucent. And I like it because it's very sheer. It's not too pink. And I just do a nice solid coat. That's it. So if you see that next to my natural nail, what I like about it is then when I go to put the white tip on, the smile line of the nail isn't as noticeable. Um, I mean, I always cover the smile line anyways, but just in case, it's nice to have it is somewhat covered. And sometimes I do get nail polish on my skin. So then I just, I'll either use another nail to get it, or I have like random pieces of paper and stuff in my, um, I'll show you after. This is from when I was doing my real estate courses, these just cards, I'm like, oh, I'll just use those. You can see all the nail polish on the edges. That's for me taking, using these to take it off my skin. <laughs> like I said, nothing fancy over here. I just do what works. I'm going to go closer. Hopefully you can see this enough. I'm trying to get good lighting. This is really good lighting for me to see, so I hope it's good for you guys as well. Okay, so that's one hand. So you see, it's very sheer. You, it, you, it's not even that noticeable. It just makes it a little pink. So I'm gonna put the, oh shoot. See my fan blew it up and look at that. Let me see if I can cover it. You know what I should probably do is flip it around. Rookie move, you guys. That was a rookie move. Oh, I think that's okay. You can't really tell. I'm gonna leave it as is. Okay, so I'm just gonna set that aside. So I'm gonna let this dry, it'll probably take about 10 minutes. Um, so I don't use my hands for anything during this time. And then I will do my tips. Okay, um, how long was that? I don't know, 10, 15 minutes roughly. And it's pretty dry. This one is probably, I'd say it's pretty dry now, but because I had, I, I um, smudged it. So there's a little bit more the nail polish on this nail than the others so when that happens I just wait until this one is dry I like them to be all dry at the same time so then that way yeah it's good how I tell is like if it feels tacky and I can see my thumbprint in it I go very lightly and then if I do 
I just very lightly kind of go like this to smoothen it out again. But if there's no thumbprint, then I know that it's dry. Okay, let's do the tips. I think this is the part that eludes people. I know it did me when I was first um, starting to do French manicure. And I would buy the kits with the tape and all of that. I don't even know if they still sell those, but now I just do it myself. I freehand it. So obviously the left side is easier because I'm using my right hand. I'm right handed, right hand dominant. Um, when I have to hold it in my left hand to do my right, it's a little bit tricky, but I have a pretty steady hand. I'm, I'm actually okay with it. Okay, so let me see. I do have to put my hand kind of on the edge of the table. So I want you to be able to see, especially my thumb. Okay, yeah, you can see that. So I'm gonna start with my thumb. And I wiggle the wand, oops, wiggle the wand around so that it, it's not drippy. I'm not even in frame. Here we go. All right, so I just make sure that I'm not drippy. And I just, just kind of go for it. I kind of start where the smile line is. Um, typically go a little bit lower. And I try to make it as even as I can. I can tell I don't have enough nail polish on the brush. Got a little bit on the skin there. Okay, that could use some improvement. better. Okay, that's better. I mean, it's not perfect, but you'll see when I put the uh, final coat of the pink over top of it, it does kind of hide some of the imperfections. I find the thumb is typically the hardest. And then if your nail polish is kind of getting older, then it will affect the quality and how it looks. So once it starts to kind of get, like this still looks pretty good, but sometimes like for me, I can tell when I put it on, it's like, mm, it's not as smooth as it could be. Um, then you know that it's time for a fresh bottle. So if you see how like these nails don't look as long, right? Because the smile line is up higher. But when you look at the back, like there's some length there. So this is what I love about a French manicure is you can make your nails look a little bit longer by um, making the, the white tip bigger than your actual smile line. So you'll see. we go right I love it
perfect. Hope you're able to see this okay. It's really hard to do your nails on camera. So that's one hand done. Just a tiny bit on the skin on this one. So I will just clean that up. Okay. That's how they compare. I love it. I love a French manicure, it's my favorite. So now I'm gonna do this one. There is a little bit of a smile line on this, so I think I'm going to, I'm gonna try um, and do the thumb on this side. It's quite a bit shorter than the other side, but I think I can make it work. I've got a little bit of white on there, but that's okay, I'll cover it. So let's see how that goes. It's okay. I feel like it could be better. I'm feeling like the nail polish is getting a little bit goopy. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if you can tell through the camera. But, I mean, I like for the smile line to be smooth. Um, and it doesn't 100% look smooth. But it's probably just noticeable to me. I don't know. Afterwards, I'll probably get a Q-tip and put some nail polish remover on it and just get any excess that's left on the skin. Or I have like little paint brushes as well. And I will probably use a paintbrush. Okay, here we go. I'm not happy with this one here. Or the thumb, really, but, I mean, 
my nail polish is getting it's funny because this side I feel it was really good but this nail and this nail the, the polish came out a bit goopy and so I couldn't get a straight line um, yeah I couldn't really get a straight line can you see that this one could look a little better as well um, a trick is when it's it's not quite dry yet but almost dry I can use my thumb and I can kind of push up and get rid of the unevenness and make it more smooth. So that's a trick that I use. Or wait till it's completely dry and then try and do another coat to make it smooth. But sometimes when I do that, then I end up jinxing it and make it worse and then have to redo the whole finger all, all over again, which I, I'd rather not do. So um, I'm, I'm happy with how that looks otherwise. I was worried it was a little bit too short, but it actually doesn't look bad. So from afar, it doesn't look bad at all. And then once I have the final coat of this sheer pink over top, you may not even notice. So I'll be back after this dries. So it's not 100% dry because I can see my thumbprint in there. So this is like the perfect time to try and play with the smile line. So I'm just going to push it up just a tad to try and make it more smooth. And I think that worked. I don't think I'm going to do any more than that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we're good. So I'm going to give it probably maybe five more minutes. This side is really good. It's pretty, yeah, I'd say this side's dry. That one's still a little bit tacky. So yeah, give it about five more minutes. Okay, I think we're good to go. I mean, it's as dry as it's going to get. This one, I had to, it's like quite thick. So it's taking a bit, but um, like it still feels tacky, but I probably could use another couple minutes, but I'm just going to, I'm going to get her done wanted to show you so I have like these little paint brushes but I need I can't really oh there we go might not be wet enough to get that off Usually I've used some sort of um, like a cap and then I pour it in. All right, okay, so let's put on our last coat of the sheer. So, I don't know if you've noticed as I've been painting my nails, I finish with um, like a stroke along the the, the very tip of the nail. I just find it, it does help the nail polish to last a little bit longer. And 
and I do go all the way down to the cuticle. But kind of without touching. You can see here, it's like just above the cuticle. That one there, I went all the way down to the cuticle, but I try to go um, as close to the cuticle as I can without actually touching it. And I don't have so much to clean up after. And then it doesn't, like once it dries and once, you know, washed my hands a few times or done dishes or whatever, then it doesn't get um, flaky or crusty. I find when you touch the cuticle, it, it can do that. If that makes any sense. So I'm going to let this dry and then I will finish it off with a clear coat. Oh, how did I get some on the very tip there? See that? The heck? That's weird. Oh, I don't like that. Now it's like really pink. Oh well. I guess I just didn't go all the way over with the brush and I had a little blob of it right on the tip. So, I mean, it's, you know, it's not perfect. If I went to a salon, they would do a much better job. But I, I enjoy doing my own nails. Plus, it saves me a lot of money. But believe it or not, I don't like how they file my nails. And I find they're a little too rough. So, I'll go for a pedicure all day long. But when it comes to my fingernails, I just have to do them myself. And I used to do shellac. Um, but I don't know the way they remove the shellac. It's just not good for your nails. And I've had some nails that are weaker. Um, I think because of it, it just makes sense. It's, they started to get weaker after I started to get shellac. So then I just stopped and yeah, I just do. I've been doing my own nails for so long. It's just something I'm used to and I find it quite relaxing. And I usually do it while I'm watching TV. Um, yeah. So let's let this dry and then I'll finish it off with a clear coat. Okay, I'm now ready for my final clear coat. Here's the final result. See, once you have all of the pieces together, so the sheer pink and the clear coat over, if there are any imperfections, you can't really see them. It's not as noticeable. I've got a little imperfection there on the side, but whatever, I'm not redoing it. I'm tired. <sighs> so a French manicure takes the longest because there's so many steps, but it is so worth it. So hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, let me know. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.